Hello everyone, we're moving this uh, bit to exclusively YouTube now, so this will be regular recording hour. Also, someone mentioned in the comments about why am I not invading Austria. Uh, yeah, it's roleplay, kinda. And we are at a point that we are horribly overstretched between the western and eastern fronts that I don't feel too terribly comfortable about engaging in any more offensives. Um, or at least any major ones. Our next target will be Romania once the, uh, well, once the Russians are down. And on that note, we will continue. Okay, that button should work. Uh, we are nearly there. 26% towards... Da -da -da. Oh, oh, uh... Oh, the Kerensky event happened again. Uh, this is in between patches as well, unfortunately. We... Uh, Kaiserreich has a habit of updating sometimes and things going horribly wrong, or in this case horribly right, because I don't want to fight Russia all the way to Vladivostok when all of this nonsense is going on. However, it looks like we will have to fight just a little bit harder, just a little bit farther, in order to secure victory here. And a lot of German, Baltic, Kubanian, Ruthenian, Ukrainian lives were lost in the war, which is tragic. We have to maintain our human resources adequately so we don't lose this uh, Weltkrieg, as it will. We're also beginning to have better control over our air. I remember last time we basically had the Union of Britain having, well, for lack of a better term, complete aerial dominance over our forces, which is unacceptable. And so close to Russian capitulation. Really marching onto Archangel. Oh, there we go. Uh, I don't think anyone's going to take Turkestan. Okay. Turkestan bar here. And turn. Pass. Ruthenia wants shit. Let's take all states. Ruthenia did take shit. Oh boy. Uh. That's Russia. We are taking them so we can... Well, we're gonna ignore that for now. There we go. Liberate a friendly Russia is what we will do. And it'll take 10 years for the game to properly uh, calculate all of these things. So I'll read the event now. After a long fight with the Russian state, we have launched a full offensive and forced the Russian armed forces to surrender. Moscow is now in our hands and the fate and fate of the Russian nation with it. Cool. So I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. I know I'm having a pretty decent one. I have to say, Alton Brown is absolutely a very kind man for putting his recipes online. I made a very large batch of mac and cheese today, and oh, it's so good. Uh, we will put a relative of ours on the throne, because God knows he won't betray us. Look at that face. It's the face of such an honest man. However, Russia, Mitzi Europa is in a much more interesting spot as a result of this. Granted, they have no men.
However, we will now begin the process of dealing with the Romanian threat. We'll send Von Kluge down there and put Modal Lieb. Actually, just probably Modal and Lieb. We'll put um, Erwin von Witzelben as a reserve for uh, a reserve force for the Romanian advance. Turkestan Khan declared war on me and Russia. Well, uh, I guess we're going to have to do the thing. That's your force. We will knock out the Khanate, I guess, and just give their territory to Russia. I don't understand why they thought this would be a good idea, but, you know, they did. Cancel their non-aggression pact with us. Alright, dude. You can do whatever you think is best. 30 days. Uh, is there anything quicker we can research? Uh, we actually can research some of the older crap. And having the Hummel... No, I would rather have this. It's not as good. Actually, the soft attacks are comparable. And this guy has... Actually, what does the rocket artillery have? Soft attack is only 50. But I'm sure it's much higher now. Uh, yeah, we'll do this guy. To me, it seems more useful than some other stuff, and yeah, we weren't really up to speed when we first set that line up, so we will upgrade. We probably want two types of tank divisions, I think. Uh, quick tank divisions... No, uh, considering how good the Panther is, or as we have it named here, the Kriegsengel. Cavalry, Panzerwagen, P3F, Krieg, Sen, Gal. Yes. Uh, sure. Kingdom of Denmark. Yeah, well, you other guys, you're more than welcome. Just random French destroyers stuck in the place, too. Kind of feel bad for them, kind of don't. Uh, who is here? Denmark is plotting the invasion. Oh, yeah, we control... Malta. Huh. You know, that's a pretty good place to control, I gotta say. Oh, we should call Russia? Russia's already called. Yeah, we basically just have to advance. Honestly, I would really like it if we could... Well... Have these guys on very aggressive, and... Well, more or less have large cavalry armies marching into the enemy capital. We also don't expect the uh, Romanians will be much of a threat, considering that they've lost their country twice. Yeah, they only have one division on a local serve. They do have 2.25 million men available, which is very respectable considering their size. We only have 1.7? And we're conscripting, but we're conscripting 5% of our nation. If we went up to similar... If we went up to similar levels... Just slur my way through this recording. The NPA. What? Oh. Someone went nat pop. South Rhodesia has capitulated. Wait a second, we're gonna see him in Mitter Europa. We're gonna do it. Well, at least we're gonna have Africa on our side. If the this guy wins, we can put him in Mitter Europa, which is great. Finland. 
That's not wise, Finland. Oh, they're manually doing it. You wanna... But... But Finland. Why? I don't understand. Okay. That interesting uh, tidbit aside. The war in the West has calmed down, which I'm perfectly fine with. Our goal here is to continue building up our forces and begin harassing the French. We cannot allow the communards to get a break. Well, when we're capable of preventing them from getting said break, that is. Uh, there was a big plan to build massive amounts of... Well... Oh, I did not want to do that one. That was a misclick. Ooh. Massive amounts of flak all around the nation. That has been cancelled now. We are going back to our program of building up the infrastructure. Or not the infrastructure, but the... Let's put that at 8. Building up the industry of our nation. We want to have plenty of factories to begin pumping out more tanks, planes, and artillery, etc. and so on. To properly fight our enemies. We're beginning to see we are beginning to see the I don't know I'm looking at the Ottoman thing here and thinking aloud to myself what we want to see I mean is a focus that allows the Ottoman Empire to join Mitte Europa which there is not I don't even know if the Great Arab War fired, which is interesting. We are just going to uh, force our way to Bukhara. We want to finish this war as soon as possible, and Afghanistan. Apparently the coalition of Persia and... Well, Deutschland are doing quite well. Let's take a look at what we can do here. We are on very good stability. We're on limited conscription. There's no thing we can do here. We would be interested in uh, maybe Mauser. We cannot do a lot of these yet because we failed to do... Oh, that's really good. Okay, so we can wait and get a really good bonus for Crook. Oh, that's so good. I think we're going to wait for that one. And we are on the verge of knocking out Romania, which will guarantee us our oil shipments to Mesopotamia. Ally with the Iron Guard. We want to do this one, I believe. Yeah. European Exchange Program, Grain and Steel, develop the border region, Ostwall. Well, actually, uh, it doesn't matter that much, because we are winning the war with it quite well. We might be more interested in this. However, it's possible it'll be more amusing to do the option that gives us a ton of manpower. Uh, we did gain, gain 
Singapore during the First Veld Krieg, or at least the aftermath of which. I'm going to do this one. Uh, I could do the state of the economy. Uh, probably do want to do that. Cancellar and the Railway deal. Chose finalize that. Yeah, let's do state of the economy. I don't see anything else here besides maybe this one just for fun. It's sad that uh, Germ uh, Ireland didn't join this game. Ireland, we could have been stronger together. You've abandoned the true path. Speaking of the true path, uh, you die now. Do I need to call in Russia? I need to call in Russia. Oh no, that's uh, Romania. Cool. Oh, I didn't realize the Romanians would be involved. Probably should have re uh, noticed that earlier. However, neither here nor there. Oh boy, Mr. Train has arrived. I wonder what he has to bring for us today. More wonder and mirth, probably. Well, ignoring that wonder and mirth, we are going to swing around Bukhara and actually see if we can encircle these guys. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Oh, we'll get a horse too. Really excited about this one. Uh, the Serbians, or the Romanians, I suppose, here, uh, shitting out men at the last minute seems to have possibly saved their nation, is what I would say if their nation seemed to be saved. Yeah, this is pretty bad. Serbia is not a. Oh, they are a major power. We will have to knock out Serbia and Bulgaria. Uh, who were puppeted. Yeah, they were puppeted to Serbia. We'll knock them all out and, well, bring the good people of a place to stand. Bulgaria, Romania, and Serbia back into the fold. Probably add most of the Balkans into Mitte Europa during that whole engagement. Uh, continue battleship uh, construction, not uh, destruction. Never destroy battleships. Okay, so we have a fleet here. Is this what we got? Oh wait, I realize now that we have been building destroyers, yes. Cool. We're getting really shitty ones, which is unfortunate. We have beaten Bukhara back in a significant way as well. And the Panther's done, that's fantastic. It's 1941, we can very much increase our artillery production now. Um, is it better to have a Panther, th a Panther or a Leopard? Speed is 14, speed is 10. So the speed is significantly different. I think maintaining the two tank production lines might be an interesting result. However, we will pare it down a little bit. And begin the full construction of our Panther Force. However, we will need to secure some oil. Which we can do in a moment here. We will go down to experimental research. To get a nice boost. However, the first African divisions arrive. Huh. Okay. Where do they appear, Berlin? I have not a clue. Here we go. Oh, here. I mean, they're not bad. Huh. 
Kukara. Turkestan is holding out quite well. However, the Afghanis seem to be a bigger threat, so we will move to knock them out of the war first. We have secured a lot of... Uh, we are at war. We cannot invest right now. Oh. I would love to invest in Ireland. No! Ireland! Why did you do it? You could have waited. No! They can go syndicalist? What is this nonsense? I suppose ignoring that, we will continue down the path. And apparently we missed a plane or some sort of other research, making sure we cannot can use it more efficiently here. Finland is still fabricating on us, much to my dismay. However, they seem to be fabricating new. Interesting. However, that's neither here nor there. Uh, it seems that reinforcements will be needed. Check the supply situation first. Ample. Alright. I'm happy it kept a reserve. However, these guys aren't as well trained as the force that was initially attacking here. Uh, hmm. Iron Guard Romania is on the verge of collapse. If we get a good attack in here, we should be able to do something. Furthermore, we need... Oh no! Wilhelm II died! Our Kaiser Wilhelm II has died of a pulmonary embolism in the Charité Hospital in Berlin today. It... Excuse me. It is the end of an age. Wilhelm II was the last European monarch who reigned during the 19th century, and his whole life he tried to uphold, sometimes succeeding, often failing, the values he identified with that era. With his death, the 20th century will, at last, be fully upon us. All over the empire, flags are flying at half-mast and public ceremonies are being organized to honor the Weltkrieg Kaiser, the Kaiser who won the world for Germany. One of the onlookers in Berlin is Crown Prince Frederick Wilhelm, who will now have to uphold the honor of the Kaiserreich in the world. The Kaiser is dead. Long live Kaiser Wilhelm III. Man looks outrageous. There was a better picture that made him look like a Corella de Vil, a Corella de Vil, uh, uh, villain. Or I guess that would just be Corella de Vil. The Islamic State of Afghanistan! Oh. Oh no. Sure. Why not? I'll take the, uh... Liberate Afghanistan. With the passing of the great Weltkrieg Kaiser, Wilhelm II, Wilhelm III has given a speech on his coronation day to guide all of Germany towards prosperity and to safeguard our interests through the world. Heil der im Siegerkans. Yeah, let's liberate Afghanistan. Please don't let it be the Islamic State of. This is the Emirate. Uh, probably Natpop? Say what you will, but seeing the Islamic State of Afghanistan makes me mildly horrified. However, that's neither here nor there for now. We are going to add in an additional line of reserves for the advances into the Balkans here. 
Oh, why did it capitulate to me? Okay, that's interesting, however relevant for our purposes. Oh, Liberia. Liberia, wool. There's some dangerous things going on here. Very dangerous things. We do need to rush to the front line to make sure we can secure uh, the front, for lack of a cogent English. See, cogent English. Not, not helping my case at all here. However, the destruction of these Greek divisions will put us in a good spot. I don't want the majority of my vassals joining in this uh, conflagration either. Their lives are being lost elsewhere, and ooh, Austria made a big pile. It's the German war effort. Da, da, da. Come to France is at war with the German Empire. I wonder what this focus does. I hope it doesn't declare war on Germany. That'd be terrible. Really, really terrible. However, uh, at least we have uh, quite near a hundred divisions free to uh, help us. Yeah, we're gonna want to slow this down again. We'll reorganize the front line and figure out a way to properly advance. Uh, probably involving planes and mutania. We'll send out these guys. And thankfully, the Eastern Balkans is a small place. Yeah, they only have 65 planes in the air, regardless. We should be able to maintain, uh, not even maintain, uh, secure absolute air superiority quite quickly once our planes arrive. Um, we are interested in securing the coast, though. So we will move towards that end. And... Hmm. The Panzer Division... We'll duplicate that and we'll just call it the Schnell Panzer Division. I think that is a fairly stereotypical name if my brain recalls. It'll be light, quick, and very useful for some of the operations we have planned in the Balkans. Unfortunately, most of them are fairly old. And yeah, they're using Stern Panzer Mark 1s. Haven't we produced a bunch of, uh. Leopards? Apparently not. They're still going to upgrade the old forces. We do have an additional research slot, which we will go towards upgrading artillery further. We won't spend any time, um going towards uh, we'll do extra research funding right now investing in science and technology to stimulate advances in both military and civilian affairs isn't that an awfully good phrase doesn't really say anything but it sure sounds good anyway the laboratory is over there good good man Alrighty, so what we're going to do here is try and encircle the forces here. And considering the Turk is probably not too hostile to him, or not too friendly, they're going to have some trouble. We're actually also going to begin swinging through the port to make sure that just in the worst case scenario, they can properly... We're beginning to suffer supply issues here. Is it do the... Oh no, it's just that specific port. Or area. What we do really need, and what I would really like to begin producing as well, is something that requires yet even more oil, and that would be our Junkers. We need them quite direly. However, our carriers are soon to have a full complement of planes, which will make them not 
useless with 